this drill involves passing and uh, combinations. Um, in the modern game, passing the ball well and good movement is critical to how, how modern day teams play. Um, and I use a variety of passing and moving drills um, to establish good passing habits, good first touch, and positive and good movement from players to create combinations and create space. So the, the drill we're going to use today is, again, I, I call it my, uh, my combination passing and moving channel drill. So I'll just work, work through the setup and again, depending on the level of the players, so I'd use this drill from players again um, who are competent, reasonably competent at passing, maybe from eight years of age. And again, I'd use it uh, right through to my senior level players. Um, but again, the setup, the setup would determine what you want to achieve out of the out of the drill. Today, I've, I've set the drill up with a bit more space, um, so the players aren't, aren't under as much pressure with their passing and their touch. But if I was working with a more senior group, I'd make the channel a lot shorter and a lot closer, so they're playing under a lot more pressure. So I'll just work through. I'll walk through the setup for you now. So the setup of the drill, um, or the setup of the area, I've got a rectangular channel. Um, the width of the channel is about 15 yards across, and the, the red cones are the starting positions for the four groups of players who are going to be working. Then the length of the channel I break into thirds, um, and again they're about 15 yards in between each third. So the working um, over a distance of about uh, about 45, 45 yards and across a width of about 15 yards. And I like, to, I like to mark out my channel in thirds so it gives the players a good indicator of where they should be playing from and where they should be receiving. So that's the setup for the combination passing and moving channel. So the players are now set up. We've got four groups of players behind the red cones at both ends of the channel. We've got two players with yellow bibs on in the middle of the channel. So the, the drill starts with one player passing the ball across to the other red cone. They play into the middle player. We get some combination movements off the middle player and then they pass the ball into the furthest, uh, furthest red cone either side. So we'll just get them working through the practice and then we'll stop and uh, make some coaching points. So where you go, Domi. Good. So we've started off at a reasonably, reasonably low tempo. Just so the players can get a wee understanding of the drill. And get an understanding of the movement that they require for the drill. And just also, just a wee understanding of the weight that they have to put on the pass, whether they're playing short or they're playing long. Turn around, sorry. So just some key principles that you work on with, with passing and moving. These are balls gone. So we like to make sure that whenever players are passing the ball across to another player, it's always in front. So they're moving on to the ball. They're not having to drop off and play the ball from behind them. When the middle, when the middle players receive the ball, as you can see from Alex there, the set is always in front. So we never play, we never play square or behind. I'll explain the detail behind that once we stop. Good. And hold the ball there, Ollie. Just hold the ball there. Super. Just go back in the middle, Clayton. So a couple of key points. So within the drill, we can use the drill, as I said, for short passing, for long passing, for combinations. So just back on the cone, Ollie and Abel. So some key principles. So Abel needs to play the ball in front of Ollie. So he's moving on to the ball. What I'm now asking Abel to do, can he make a wee underlapping run? Okay, and it might be a, that might be a run that you make in a game. So Abel's gonna, once he's played the ball across, he's gonna underlap Ollie. So he's gonna get right underneath Ollie and they're gonna make a wee crossover. Good. Again, Dom's gonna play the ball across. Wee underlapping run, Dom. Good. Luke plays the ball forward, a wee set. And again, they play the long ball into Curtis. So we're getting some really, we're getting some really key principles there. So 
the ball across needs to be in front, the movement of the player who underlaps, the crossover, and then the person who's setting the ball in the middle must play it back into the V, so everything's in front. It can't be square and it can't be behind. behind. Okay, so let's just have another wee look at that. So everything in front, nice wee underlap, good, good movement on the middle man, good accuracy on the long pass, well done, good. Good. So keep things nice and tidy, everything in front. Good weight on your pass. Super. Super. Well done. Well done. Good Wazim. Good Owen. Just hold the ball there, Ollie, again. So once I've got the, uh, once I've got the the quality of the ball across and the ball forward. Then we're working on the timing of the movement beyond Alex. Okay, now we don't want players getting beyond them. They must receive the ball in front. So the timing of the run now is really important. So Ollie, if you play the ball across, good, we underlap. Play the ball forward. Now that, just hold the ball there, good. Go back a bit, go back a bit. Play the ball into Alex. Yep, play it into Alex. So what we don't want to see players do, when Alex received the ball, we don't want Ollie now getting too far into these areas. Okay, why is that Ollie? Because then we'll be playing a blind pass. Be playing a blind pass. So every time we receive the ball now off the middle man, we want to receive it in the V. So Alex can see both players. So it's important now that Ollie and Curtis time their run on the ball coming from Alex, so we don't go past. Just have another wee look at that. Just go back with the ball. Good, go back with the ball. Just start again Ollie, on the red cone. Good, so ball, ball across is in front, good pass forward, Tommy off Alex, he receiving the V, good quality long pass into Dom, super. Good Dommy, timing of the run again, well done Clayton. Good, good, and hold the ball there Lee, super. So just again with your long pass, what we say to the players once they've received, they can either play a straight ball down the line to Josh, or if I, if I wish, I can also play a diagonal ball into Luke. Okay, so we're not giving any direction where they have to go. They've got an opportunity to play both. What I like to see my players do, I don't, see, I don't like to see straight balls down lines. So where I can, if I receive the ball on this side of the pitch, I want to play a diagonal into Luke. Okay, so I'm changing that point of attack. So it could be that into there. Okay, good. Way you go, Luke. Have another look. Sorry, Luke, just carry on through. Good. Good, so it's that one there. Well done. Good. Well done. Super, and hold the ball there. Go and play then. Owen, just we'll go through it a couple more times. So keep the quality high. Good short passing, good movement, good long ball in. Well done. As John showed then, if you need to take a touch to get control of the, of the pass, do so. There's no necessity to play first time all the time. As long as the quality of the, the, uh, the drill is high, and you're getting some good key principles out of it. Good, Curtis. Good, good, well done. So try and play inside the cones. So you'll also notice that the middle players are always in motion. They're never static, they're always making good angles so that the players that are playing the balls in aren't playing straight balls all the time. There's always a wee angle into the middle man. Good. Good, well done. Good, Dom. That's fine, if you need to take a touch, do so, Luke. Keep it nice and tidy. Well done. Good, uh, good, uh, was. Okay, super. Go on through one more, Dom. Just hold the ball there, Johnny. So just maybe a nice simple progression. Now we've got that moving quite nicely. We've got the passing good, the movement spot on. Now what you want to do when the ball goes in from the long pass, we want the first pass now, as opposed to going from John across to Abel, the pass comes into, into Clayton first time. So into Clayton. They work the wee movements off of Clayton, the long pass in. That one now has got to go first time. Good. Well done.
Good. And hold the ball there, Aman. So just the reason why we're going in first time now, so in a game, you may receive a pass, a longer pass, and you want to set something short, and it needs to be a first time pass. So the considerations now is, the player that's playing the ball long might need to just uh, adjust the weight on the pass a wee bit so that now I can play that ball forward first time. I don't want it to be too soft and not too strong, just enough weight so that I can move on to the pass and play it into Alex first time. So let's have a wee look. So play in first time, our man. Get your wee runs, are still on a wee underlap. Nice and long, good. Can we make that first time? Good, Braden. super. If you need to take two touches, do so. Good. Good. Well done. So always looking to play inside the channel. So accuracy of pass is important. We're playing straight in, John. That's fine, that's fine. Good. Good. Come on, Alex. Uh, Ollie. Well done. Good. 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 Well done. Good touch, Luke. Good, well done. Just hold the ball there, Abel. Good, go back on the ball. So just again, a, just a couple of key uh, key principles on rec on receiving long passes. So you must roll the ball back into me, Abel. So the player who's receiving the ball must assess the the flight of the path, not uh, the flight of the pass, nice and quickly. So the movement is early; it's not late. So if I'm if I misplayed a ball and it's heading in that direction, Abel can get his body behind it, nice and quick to get good shape to play that ball forward. Okay, back into me, Clayton. So I don't want players lunging. I want players to get to the, to the, uh, the flight of the ball nice and early. So when it goes, it's gonna get the nice and early play forward, super. And then a long ball in, good. So good shape on your pass, well done. Well done. Good, John. Good, Curtis. Good, so in these wee passing and moving drills, I like to make sure that the players are always challenged. So the pace of the pass is always gonna challenge their touch. They've gotta to watch the pass right onto their foot. They need good body shape so they're not erect. They're also relaxed. So when the ball comes in, they get good contact again. Maybe a little bit from high to low on the ball so we can make sure the ball travels along the floor. Good. Well done. Also, what I, what I say to my players at times, so now, fellas, only our right foot, please. So we're only going to restrict our players to using their right foot only. Right foot only. So again, different restrictions on the players. Must be able to play both sides. So they're, pass, they're playing in with their right foot, they're passing with their right foot. It's a shocker. Good, so playing with your right, super, drop it off. Nice combinations though, man, you're fine, get there. Good boy, well done. Good lead, that's fine. We touch, good Braden. So that first pass into the middle end, there's just a wee bit of weight taken off the pass. Good John. Again, a wee underlap, so we don't forget about, about our movement. We don't want to go past the middleman, so the set is back in front. So again, we're moving on to the pass. We don't have to adjust our movement and try and receive balls that are trailing behind us. So just as another progression, so we've gone from playing the ball across, playing forward, underlapping runs and diagonal runs, playing the ball long, to playing the, the long ball in first time into the middleman. Again, a wee underlap, crossover, play the ball long, now we're going to progress at one more step. So we're going to ask the players now if they can play the ball in and do two combinations in the middle. Okay, two combinations. So the keys now are, again, the, the short passing into the middle players, the timing of the runs. So now they've got to work on, not only working off one player, but they've got to work off the second middle player as well. So let's just have a wee look. So they're going to go straight in, Dommy. Yep, so we're going to go straight in. 
We're going to work two crossovers. Good. Good. So again, the timing of the run net, it's important. So they're taking the ball in their stride off the middleman. Good Ollie. Super. Well done. Well done. Good. Don't go past the ball. So nothing square or nothing behind. Everything must be in front in the V. Well done. Well done. Good. Good. Play on. Well done. Good. Good. Super. And just hold the ball there, John. Excellent. Back in, back into, back into John. So with the middlemen now, it's important that in the game, if I'm receiving a ball and I'm looking to drop it off to people, what you see with the players now is they're just taking the weight off the ball. So it's nice and easy for the players moving on to ball to play the ball forward. So just play it into me, uh, into me, Clayton. So the difference is that is going to be hard for a player to ball, play the hard for the player to play the ball forward. Planted to me again, Dom. So all I want to do now, I just want to take the weight off the pass so the player can move on to nearly a stationary ball to play a nice accurate pass forward. So now you watch the middle men and their touch needs to be precise. So they're going to take a lot of weight off the pass so that the working players can play everything first time. Let's have another wee look. Good. So nice and precise. Good. Super. Owen? Good. So anything that comes at a little high, you've got to make it into a good pass. Well done, John. So the middlemen need to keep making angles. We don't want straight passes. Everything needs to be on an angle. Angled runs. Angled balls in. Super. So I would work with the players in a passing and moving exercise like this for about 20 minutes. Then I might go into another passing and moving exercise. Or I might just develop uh, more progressions in the channel passing and moving. Good. Well done. So good crisp passing. Good weight on your passing. Good. Well done. Keep going. So we're always challenging their touch. The first touch is really important. Always challenging the player's first touch. Even with a short passing, we want it to go with, not, with uh, nice weight. So the middle players can use the weight to good effect. Good. 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 Okay.